Well, this morning we're looking into cutting edge technology that could help you reclaim the security on your smartphone. A recent survey finds 85% of Americans worry about privacy when it comes to mobile apps. But at the World Mobile Congress in Spain this week, the tech world is learning about a possible answer. And our Chip Reed got a preview. Technology was supposed to make our lives better. Instead, we have lost our privacy. That's the advertisement for Black Phone. Why does the world need Black Phone? Well, because the world needs privacy. That's the company's CEO and co-founder, Mike Janke. It may look like an Android on the outside, but on the inside, Black Phone runs on a customized operating system that is entirely encrypted. Calling, texting, file, browsing, and your everyday walking through life is all encrypted, all secure. Blackphone aims to protect its users from hackers, governments, and something else from which they might not even know they need protection, smartphone apps. What they don't see is that those apps are accessing their contact list, they're accessing their phone usage, um, their data usage, their locations. Jason Hong is an associate professor at Carnegie Mellon's Human Computer Interaction Institute, one of the top-ranked departments of its kind. I looked at the top 100 apps uh, that are currently on the uh, Android, the Google Play Store, and roughly about 85% of them were collecting some kind of sensitive information. For example, most people don't expect Angry Birds to use location data, but in reality, it actually does. Angry Birds isn't the only app collecting information that may surprise you. The Federal Trade Commission accused the free Brightest Flashlight app, with nearly 100 million downloads, of selling user location information to advertisers. And this popular Bible app also collects location and IP addresses. What Blackphone will do, the minute you download an app, any app, and you begin to use it. It will pop up and say, this app is trying to access your contacts. Last week, we sat down with the company's chief product officer, Toby Weir Jones, for a look at the black phone up and running for the first time. That is the black phone. This is prototype number one. You just got that black phone yeah, yourself. Yeah, it just, it just arrived from Spain about an hour and a half ago. The key to black phone's privacy capabilities lies here in the phone's security center. What we can do is we can say, I don't want photo gallery to get my really precise location from GPS. I'm going to turn that off. The advantage here is that you're not forced to accept an all or nothing list of permissions. You can fine tune. I've seen this phone described as NSA proof. Is anything really NSA proof with all their resources? No, there is nothing in the world today that is NSA proof other than taking your phone and throwing it into Potomac. Do you envision everybody walking around with one of your phones in the near future? Well. Um, I, I don't think what we're looking for is world domination. <laughs> we know that we have uh, customers from 130 countries right now. We asked Jason Hong who he thinks will buy the black phone at a price of $629. I think that's going to be a hard sell for typical smartphone users. Historically, it's been very tough market to try to convince people to pay for privacy. What we're doing is absolutely shaking up this system. With it comes applause as well as um, people wanting to steamroll us. And who wants to steamroll you? I would suspect just about everybody who makes money off of your data. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Washington. Are you guys placing your order? Well, I think well, it should press, press other phones to make some additional security yeah. precautions or um, options for people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like that option. Yeah, I do too. 